Welcome Never Betters to Sunday with Susan. We are all about movement and message and today's flow, 30 minutes, we're gonna open our heart and hamstrings and we offer modifications. And we're a contribution-based practice. So if you're interested in supporting us, you can go to our website at neverbetteryoga.com and we thank you. So today, our message is be thankful and say so, the kickoff of Thanksgiving week. So let's get after your best self. Full stop, can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and We are going to hit the start button right now. So once you've done that, come back onto your mat. You're going to let your knees be the width of your hips. You're going to tuck your toes under. Let your hands rest on your thighs and your hips on your heels. Now, if this is too much, just know that you can lift up and off your heels. But breathe in, stretch your arms out and up with your palms facing up toward the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Do that again. Breathe in, lift your hips off your heels. Look up, collect your hands. Exhale, sit back down. Two more times. Inhale, start to move your breath. Exhale, come back down. One more time. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes. So this week being Thanksgiving week, be thankful and say so. So if that brings to mind someone or something, that you're going to act on with that thankful, grateful heart. Seal that in and then lift back up off your heels. Tee your arms, open up your heart. Exhale, draw your elbows in. Fist your hands and contract as you bow down. Inhale, rise up, tee the arms, open up your heart today. Exhale, draw back in, bow down. Inhale, lift up, T. Exhale, smooth cadence, pull back in. Last time, this time, stay up, breathe in. T your arms and retract your shoulders, hugging your inner thighs in. Lace your hands, slide them down the back side. Retract your shoulders and look up. Now plant your hands right on your mat, shoulder width apart. Draw the heels towards your bum. Point the toes, take the knees wide, rock back, balasana. Inhale, rise up, big toes together this time. Dip your hips, lift your heart. Exhale, draw up and back, bow your chin down towards the earth, balasana. Inhale, rise up, hear your breath, move with that oceanic quality in and out through your nose. Inhale, rise, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Those are words of wisdom from William Ward. Smooth riding of your breath, dipping the hips, opening the heart. Exhale back, balasana last time. Inhale, rise up, breathe in, tap the top of your head. Exhale back, child's pose. So just know at any time during your practice, if you are interested in balasana right here, child's pose, you've got that option. 
your practice, your way of bringing your best self in today. Now rise up, dip your hips and just hold. Now extend your legs out. Let them be the width of your hips, hands alongside your body. Rise up, Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, lower back down. Tuck your toes under, push up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Press the heels back behind your second and third toe, just pedaling your heels. Breathing that smooth ujjayi pranayama breath in and out through your nose. It helps clear any chatter in your head. Now take a walk, a stroll. It's a crisscross walk to stretch out the IT bands. One leg across the other. Crisscross to the top of your mat. Coming into Malasana, that yoga squat, hands to heart center and pause. Stay lifting out of your hips, knees track over toes two and three. Thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. Keep lifting up. You may just think thankful thoughts, but gratitude is shown in acts, in action. So reach your fingertips out in front of your body. Lift the hips up, spin the heels out, and come in to a forward fold where you're going to slip your peace fingers on your big toes. Physically pull the big toes up, breathe in. So we're going to become Action Jacksons this week on being thankful and saying so. Inhale, pump your heart up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, sneak your elbows in, bow your head down. Shake out any kind of worry or angst, anything troubling you. Anything that could possibly hinder your practice and draw that yes back in with that knowingness. You are exactly where you belong today. No coincidence. You are here. Now let your big toes go. Keep your knees soft. Lace the hands behind your back. Bend the right knee. Turn open to the left. Now reverse it, bend the left, spin your heart open to the right. Now release your hands down, heel toe your feet all the way together at the top of your mat. Rise up, stand up, breathe in, lift the heart to the heavens. Samastitihi, breathe out. That least bit of action is better than the greatest of intentions. So we're going to put that thankful heart of yours into action. Offer up, breathe in. Swan dive, breathe out, hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step your right leg back behind your body. Dip the back knee down. And if you're interested in blocks, then you could always place your hands on. We're just going to go back and forth for a little glide and slide. So just opening the hips up, especially this right hip flexor. Get a little mobility and movement in those hips. And then I want you to stabilize your stance by letting your hands push on the left thigh bone, letting your heart lift. Hug in to your own midline, pulling the left heel toward the right knee. Stretch your arms out and up. Breathe in, even look up. Tee those arms, breathe out. Exhale, fist your hands like the beginning. Bow down. Inhale, rise up, tee the arms, open your heart, dip your hips. Exhale, contract and bow down. Last time, inhale, rise up, tee the arms and hold. Stretch your neck out, that throat chakra. Expand your heart. Now lace your hands behind your back. 
Draw the hands down the inside of the back right hamstring and pump your heart up. Release that connection. Peel the right knee up off your mat. Glide back, pyramid. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold over that front leg, bowing your head down, plugging that left femur bone in. Now put the weight in the right foot, sneak the left leg forward, knee to knee, bow down. Now hugging in to your own midline, maybe you sweep your arms alongside your body. Breathe. Now release your finger pads down. You're balancing on that left foot. Just float up L shape. Point the right toes and walk your hands over to the left, lengthening out that right side body. Roll that right foot around your ankle. Reverse that direction and really lengthen from your right pinky finger to your right pinky toe. Come back to the center. <clears throat> right knee, knee right to your nose. Inhale, stretch it back. Now, knee to knee, perch pose. Inhale, L shape. Exhale, perch. Inhale, L shape. Set it next to the left. Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale, rise up. Tee the arms on top. Open your heart. Exhale, cascade down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step your body back to a high push-up, high plank pose. Now, you could always have your knees down if that serves you better. But shift forward a touch. Bend your arms. Lower all the way to your mat. Wrap your shoulders around the backside. Lift your heart up. Lower your chin down. Up and back you go. Down dog. Now go ahead and take the right leg. Cross it over the left. In your down dog. Peel the left. Heel up. Slide the right leg around. Drop the left knee down to your mat along with the right. Now, both knees are down, both feet are up. Take a push up, come back up, tuck your toes, crisscross down dog. Beautiful. Unravel the right leg, turn open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Pull the right knee right up the center line. Step it in between your hands. Dip the left knee down. Offer your arms up. Collect your hands in that Kali Mudra style. Exhale, take that shift to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow down and fold. Be thankful and say so. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Do it one more time. Inhale, halfway, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Now, root to rise, stable, solid. Rise up. Tee the arms on top. Open up your heart. Exhale, hands at heart center. Dive down. We all know how gratitude feels when it's expressed toward us. Step the left foot back. Anjaneyasana. Dip the back knee down. Go back to that glide. Back and forth. We hope that that gratitude expressed toward us when we express it, can feel the same to someone else by helping lift them up. It's kind of like helium is to a balloon. It just lifts the other person up. Now, the interesting thing is that research shows the benefits that there are that consistent, thoughtful displayers of gratitude have. So push the thigh bone down, lift your heart up. Those benefits would be inhale the arms up, tee the arms, open the heart. 
strengthens your immune system. Bow down. So the more expression that you give of thankfulness and gratitude, you lower your blood pressure. It fights the blues. Inhale, rise up. And even makes us happier. Last time, pull the elbows in. Bow your chin towards your right front thigh. Now, inhale, lift up. Tee the arms and hold. Lace your hands. It also releases those feel-good chemicals to the brain. That dopamine, that serotonin, that oxytocin. Release the hands down. Pull the right hip back. Peel the left knee up. Pyramid. Inhale, plugging that right femur bone in. Lengthen. Exhale, bow down and fold. Plugging femur bone into socket. Now sneak the left knee in toward the right. Stay on the ball of the left foot. Pull back with that right femur bone in. Hug into your midline. Can you sweep your arms up? Breathe. Now plant your finger pads down. Float up to that L shape. Let your hands walk over toward the right side of your mat. Point the left toes and see if you can lengthen that left side body from your pinky finger to your pinky toe. And then take a roll of that right around the ankle. So reverse that direction. All that being said, we can make ourselves happier by getting on that pathway of being thankful and saying so, acting on it. Now go ahead, perch pose, knee to knee, bow your head down, left heel to bum, left foot pointed. Inhale back, L shape. Exhale, bow back down, perch pose. Use your breath. Inhale, heart lifts, L shape. Exhale, bow back down. Now set the left foot next to the right. Inhale, chair pose. Rise up, breathe in, hook your thumbs, open up the heart, standing back bend. Exhale, bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen, step or float your body back, take it through. Vinyasa, you can step back, you can float back, maybe up dog. Palms of hands, tops of feet, touch the mat. Exhale your body back, down dog. Breathe out. Lift that right heel up, cross the left leg over. Now bend the right knee, slide that left leg over deeper like eagle legs. Drop both knees to the earth. You're going to take a nice push up as you peel your feet up and your chin down. Inhale, back up, crisscross your feet into a crisscross down dog. Unravel the left leg, turn open at the hip. Pull back on the right hip and get equal amounts of weight distributed in each of your hands. Now, knee to nose one time on the left side, step it up. Right knee dips down, collect your hands, offer your body up, breathe in. T the arms, breathe out. Lace your hands, slide them down the backside, retract your shoulders, look up. Float up into chair pose. Utkatasana, from here, stand all the way up. Hook your thumbs on top, open the front body. Exhale, bow down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Build that heat. Step or float your body back. Take it through. Vinyasa. Exhale, up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg is going to lift. Turn open at the hip. Knee to nose one time. Step it up. Back knee down to the earth. Offer your arms up, tee the arms, dip the hips. Collect your hands, wring it out and twist. Left upper arm outside the right front thigh. Left toes tucked under, peel the left. Kneecap up. 
and then come up and around warrior two stay low flip the right palm peaceful now pinwheel your hands down take the right leg shoot it back three-legged high plank bend your arms three-legged chaturanga right leg meets the left inhale up exhale back downward facing dog breathe out activating that thankfulness activates those brain chemicals that turn them on that dopamine that serotonin draw in that left knee to the forehead step it up that oxytocin offer the arms up breathe in tee the arms breathe out collect your hands hug into your own midline right upper arm on the outside use your thumbs at the center of your chest hold and breathe right foot is tucked under peel the right kneecap up can you peel the left shoulder blade back now come with me up and around stay low warrior two flip that left palm for a little peace pinwheel your hands down shoot the left leg back three-legged high plank dip down three-legged chaturanga left leg joins the right offer your heart up exhale take it up and back breathe out down dog let the right leg lift turn open at the hip adding on right knee right tricep tap it windshield wipe it to the left tap it bring it back to the center stretch it up and back turn open at the hip step the right foot forward back left knee slowly dips to the earth hug into your midline anjaneyasana t the arms lift your heart to the heavens hands to heart center back kneecap up after you twist stable and steady now this time stay maybe you open up with that twist high to low but breathe now up and around slow you go peaceful warrior flip the right palm up and back now bring it into side angle right forearm to the femur bone left arm up and over now feel that left hand behind your head exhale draw it in elbow to elbow inhale open it up maybe full out expression right hand outside the right leg draw it in inhale open it up last time exhale peel it in now set the left finger pads down sneak the left knee to knee right leg is extended rock back on the ball of the left foot sweep your arms this time can you lace them bow down let the shoulders rinse breathe now release that connection float up perch pose knee to knee head bows down set it into utkatasana chair pose stand up breathe in open up your heart exhale bow down rinse cleanse bend and fold inhale and lengthen step or float your body back take it through vinyasa exhale take it up and back downward facing dog breathe out hold steady in your down dog hold up breathe be thankful and say so that least bit of action is better than that greatest of intention getting about that thankful grateful heart will help you be happier left leg lifts left knee left tricep breathe gotta breathe windshield wipe it over to the right breathe bring it back to the center stretch it up and back turn open at the hip knee to nose step it up anjaneyasana back right knee to the earth offer your arms up nice and slow t the arms elevate the heart collect your hands ring it out right upper arm on the outside of that left front thigh 
Now peel the right kneecap up. Maybe you stay. Maybe you open up. Breathe. Bring it up and around. You pass through. Warrior two, right into peaceful. Flip that palm. Arc up and back. Right into side angle. Modified would be left forearm on the left femur bone. Right arm up and over. Now peel the right hand behind your head. Expand your chest and heart. Exhale, contract, pull it in. Inhale, open up to a new way of being this week. Exhale, draw it in. That dopamine, that serotonin, that oxytocin is filling your brain. Draw it in. Those happy chemicals, when you get about that thankful give, draw it in and hold. Lower down the right hand. Frame the left leg with the left hand. Peel the right kneecap off. Slide in to be on the ball of the right foot. Knee to knee, rock the hips back. It's a little modified variation of pyramid. Maybe you lace your hands behind your back. Now your hands could stay connected to your sacrum or you could wrench your shoulders up and overhead. Breathe. Release that connection. Perch pose, knee to knee, bow your head down. Sit it into Utkatasana, chair pose. This time, exhale, plant your hands down. If you are a Bakasana, this is the place, loading your knees on your upper arms, lifting your feet up and off. Or if you would rather stay in Malasana, right here in a yoga squat, that is also available, but no float back. Breathe. Land all together, back down in Malasana. Lift out of the hips. Rise up, breathe in. Thankfulness is the beginning. It's the beginning of that gratitude. Gratitude is the completion of that thankfulness. Rise up, breathe in. How are we going to express it this week? Get creative. We're going to act on it. Rise up one more time. Open up. Now this time, stay up. Heel toe, your feet together at the top of your mat. Bring your hands right to heart center. Left hand, left hip. Peace fingers around the right big toe or hand to shin. Go ahead and levitate that right leg out. Breathe. Stand into it. Left arm can lift. Open up on the diagonal, right leg to the right, left arm to the side. Carry that right leg in, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Breathe. Slip your hands together. Slide them down the back side. Let your heart lift up. Be thankful and say so. Sit it into chair pose. Exhale, one brush and sweep. Take your time. Rinse, cleanse, anything not serving you. Palms up, offer up that good stuff. Cultivate, develop that grateful heart. Hands at heart center, balance on the right. Right hand, right hip, left peace fingers, maybe on the big toe, maybe hand to shin. Stand into your pose. We know how those expressions of gratitude feel when we get them. We want to share that feeling. Open up. Now, collect the sole of that left foot right into the right inner thigh. Vrikshasana. Stand tall. Steady your gaze. Be thankful and say so. Slide your hands down the back side. Maybe even look up. Now, Utkatasana chair pose. Reach your arms forward, half a chair, tailbone back. So as you practice becoming a consistent, thoughtful displayer of gratitude, the benefits not only are expressed to someone else, but back to your own self, making you a little happier less blue now plant your feet 
Take your hands back. Slip them into your back pockets. Elevate the hips up. Breathe in. Reverse tabletop. Offer up your purpose today with your grateful heart lifting. Draw the hips down. Be thankful and say so. Travel around to a comfortable, easy seat. Sweep the arms up, all that good. Breathe in, look up. Collect it. Those blessings are yours as you seal them into your heart, chin towards your chest. Now let's all finish off with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Home. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day